Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in church. Good morning, church of God. Good morning, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. This is your sister, Jessica J. Prophetess Jessica J. Coming on with the word from the Lord. And the Lord woke me up at 430 this morning from a prophetic dream. The Lord woke me up from a dream where the Holy Spirit was using me and other fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, they shall no longer run from their calling. Speak to my church. I am reconciling those back to me. They shall no longer run from their rightful place on the right hand of the throne of grace. So the Lord said, speak, speak to my church. I am gathering in my remnant. So we all spoke. This is the dream, y'all. All prodigals, women and men, and boys and girls, take your place. You shall no longer run from your calling. God is calling you home. All prodigals, men, women, boys and girls, take your place. You shall no longer run from your calling. God is calling you home. Arise. Take your place. Arise. Take your place. You shall no longer run from your calling. This is the gathering of the remnant church. All particles. Men, women, boys and girls. You shall no longer run from your calling. This is the gathering of the remnant church of God. Arise, arise, take your place. This is the gathering of the remnant church. All particles, men and women, boys and girls, take your place. Take your place. Arise and take your place. And when I woke up, from this particular dream, I noticed that I myself was still speaking the same thing from the dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And then I, then I looked up the meaning, the reference to the gathering of the remnant church. And the Lord led me to scripture. And the first scripture I will read is coming from Isaiah chapter 10 verses, verses 20 through 22. Which reads. The remnant of Israel will return in the day of the remnant of Israel and the survivors of the house of Jacob will no more lean on him who strict him, who strict them, excuse me, but will lean on the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. A remnant will return the remnant of Jacob to the mighty God. For those, your people, Israel, be as the sand of the sea. Only a remnant of them will return. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the Lord led me to Isaiah 11. Isaiah chapter 11. 11 through 16. Which reads. 
In the day the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant that remains of his people from Israel, from Egypt, from Phethros, from Crush, from Elma, from Sinra, from Helmuth, and from the coastlands of the sea. When he will arise, a sign for the nations, the will assemble and banish of Israel and gather the the spies of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart and those who harass Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah and Judah shall not harass Ephraim, but they shall scoop down on the shoulder of the Philistines in the West and together they shall plunder the people of the East. They shall put out their hand against Edom and Omab and the Amorites shall obey them. And the Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt and and will wave his hand over the river with the scorning with his scorning breath and strike in unto seven channels and he will lead, and he will lead people across the sandals across in sandals excuse me y'all and there will be a highway from Israel for the remnant that remains of his people as there was for Israel when they come from the land of Egypt. The next scripture the Lord led me to was Joel 2, 32. Joel chapter 2, verse 32. And it reads, And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. From, from in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there shall be those who escape. And, and as the Lord has said, and among the survivors shall be those whom the Lord calls. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Then the next scripture the Lord led me to was Romans chapter 11, verses 1 through 5. Romans chapter 11, 1 through 5. And it reads, I ask then, as God, I ask then, has God rejected his people? By no means. For I myself am a, am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people who he, he foreknew. Do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah, how he appeals to God against Israel. Lord, they have killed your prophets. They have demolished your altars. And I alone am left. And they seek my life. But what is God's reply to them? What is God's reply to him? Excuse me. I, I have kept. For myself, 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. I too, at the present time, there is a remnant 
chosen by grace. And last but not least, the last scripture that the Holy Spirit, our Father God in heaven, led me to is Revelations 12 and 17, which reads, The dragon became furious with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of her offspring, on those who kept the commandments of God, the whole to the test and and hold to the testimony of Jesus. And he stood on the sand of the sea. Father God, I bless you. Father God, I thank you for this word this morning. Father God, I lift your name on high for you are gathering in your remnant church. You are calling those. You are calling those men, women, boys and girls back to you. Father God, I lift your name on high. Father God, I lift your name on high and exalt your holy name for you are worthy, O God. Father God, I blessed your name. Father God, I praise you. There is no one like you, O God. Father God, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for calling all particle women, men, boys and girls back to you. Thank you, Father God, for raising those up to their rightful seat on the right hand of the throne of grace. I thank you, Father God, for using us, your willing servants, oh God. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. It is so. And so shall it be. Now you guys know that I love you. And Jesus Christ loves you also. Y'all guys have a blessed Saturday morning. In Jesus mighty and holy name. Amen. And amen. Talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.